What's up guys? Deathwish back with another video today. <clears throat> and today we are going to do the follow-up video to the tank buster video with the Mar where we tested the martyrs bomber along with the different officer combinations to see what works, what didn't, and what did the best and what didn't do so great. So this uh, is going to be the follow-up video to that. This is going to be the Vanguard bomber testing. So again, we have got Josh helping us out. So big shout out to him. Big shout out to Cat T and Skins for being our uh, cheerleaders. If you guys ever need cheerleaders for anything, they are available for hire. So if you guys want to shoot Cat T a message, he is the uh, cheer captain actually. So he would be your contact point there. So if you guys ever need cheerleaders and you guys need to work something out, go ahead and shoot him a message, and he and his girlfriends will help uh, get you guys all lined out. Uh, anyway, without further ado, here is the um, order in which we're going to do the. Uh, officer testings and we are going to make it happen so we're going to do like I said <clears throat> the 7.2 Vanguard bomber we're going to be targeting my Liberty artillery units the reason I have chosen my Liberty artillery units is because they have the best they have the best overall durability so I wanted to make it as hard as we could for these bombers to kill me and so that way we could get as accurate of a testing result as we could I have also asked Josh to remove his parts on his plane for this particular video just like we did on the tank buster video so we could compare apples to apples uh, and see what that looked like uh, I do have my parts on the Liberty artillery it's level 200 maxed out modifications it does have parts again I wanted to make it as tough on these bombers as possible and give it the most durability I possibly could so the officer combinations we're going to be running passes today. Passes today with a with the Vanguard bomber. We are going to be doing Pixie and uh, or I'm sorry, Brisk Eagle and Pixie. We're going to be doing El Cartero and Pixie. We are going to be doing Brisk and El Cartero. We're going to be doing them in that order. The three passes, just as we did in the Tank Buster video. We are going to. I'm going to show you guys obviously the. Um, Battle reports on my end, as well as in the video, I will be including the battle reports from Josh's angle, uh, so you guys can see it from that side of uh, things as well. So, also, if you guys have not checked out the Tank Buster video, I will be linking it up in the top right-hand corner of your screen. It will be there, and it will also be in the suggested video on the end screen at the end of the video. So, if you guys have not checked that out, I highly encourage you to check that out, and um, watch that, see what you think. That will help you out with bomber combinations, and this is going to be a uh, video, a follow-up video on that along the same lines, like I said, but we're going to be now targeting the artillery units with the Vanguard bombers, which is what they're geared towards. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to let Josh know that we're ready to go, and we are going to get this underway. So first pass, again, is going to be Brisk Eagle and Pixie. So we are going to see what that looks like. I have just sent him a message. So we've left, left you in now. So we are going to be getting this underway. So first pass, brisk, and pixie, and here we go. And I don't have any buffs, just so you guys know, I don't have any firepower, don't have any durability buffs, don't have anything. It's just strictly, uh, strictly tech and uh, parts are for my durability. So... Uh, right out of the gate here, I would say he is absolutely hammered down on me. That is, I might not have a unit left, honestly. Yeah, there's, n there's no way. There's no way. All right, so everything's gone. So the brisk and the pixie combination is clearly uh, deadly. Uh, we'll call it that. And as you guys can see here on my barracks, I have uh, level 32 barracks. On this particular unit so I've got without bus right I'm not I'm not gonna the bus are expensive the, the bus are very short-lived so we're gonna go generally speaking right that you we're gonna assume that you guys aren't running bus and that was the result of that so he killed on that particular pass he killed all 100 of my units and he did it in about 25 se seconds uh, so that was pretty uh, Pretty efficient. Damage suffered is 5.46 million. So we are going to retrain here and fast forward. We will resume once I get all the units trained and we are parked back in front of his base and go from there. All right, guys, we are retrained and we are back. So we are going to be doing our second 
pass here, this second pass, we are going to be using El Cartero and Pixie together. So let's see what we've got. Not bad, not bad, first little chunk down. And again, just keep in mind that every run he has got Pixie involved, he's gonna have five passes versus four. So the next round is gonna be Brisk and El Cartero, which means he's only going to have four passes. So once again, he eliminated all of my troops, so he got the full 100 kills, so that combination is also extremely good. The five runs is, is vital with Pixie. So we're gonna retrain and we are going to test our final officer combination, which is gonna be Brisk Eagle and El Cartero together. And real quick, sorry, I apologize. I did not uh, show you guys that report. So you can see in report one, he killed all 100 units both times. On report one, he did 5.46 million damage. On the second report, he did 5.57 million damage as reference. So report two got, it looks like, a little over a million more damage dealt. So just as reference. All right, guys, we are back for our third and final bombing run. Before we get going, Nightmare Jack has decided to join us here. I'm sorry, excuse me. Hey, he's decided to join the cheerleaders. I just want to be specific here. He has joined the cheerleading squad, so welcome, Jack. We appreciate you attending. The third and final combina officer combination we're going to be running is going to be Brisk and El Cartero. So far, El Cartero and Pixie, which was the second combination we had, was the hardest hitting, did the most damage. Brisk and Pixie were our second in line right now. We're going to see where Brisk and El Cartero fall um, but El Cartero and Pixie did the most damage. So let's see what the third and final combination has in store for us. So we are getting this underway and we are gonna see what this report looks like. So no surprise there, we did a big chunk of damage right out of the gate here. All right, all right. And remember, he does not have Pixie on this combination. So with that being said, he's only going to have four passes. So we will see if that makes a difference at all. All right. So he was able to, on that final run, even without Pixie and without having the fifth run, he was still able to eliminate all of my troops. So once this report generates, we will take a look at it. We will see the damage dealt. Here we go. And we will rank accordingly. So it looks like we had all 100 killed again, obviously. It, we did 5.57 million damage, which was the same as the second combination, which was El Cartero and Pixie. And the first combination is the weakest of the three. Brisk and Pixie did the least amount of damage. So with that being said, the two top combinations are going to be between El Cartero and Pixie or Brisk and El Cartero. If it's me, I'm personally going to go with the second combination, El Cartero and Pixie, because they're both bomber-related officers. That's going to give me the ability to free up Brisk Eagle for a fighter or for another bomber, things like that. So you can be versatile there with the uh, results that we've gotten from this video. So El Cartero and Pixie is the top combination tied with Brisk and El Cartero. So... Either one, however you want to mix and match it, on my end shows the same amount of kills, same amount of damage dealt. So that's kind of where we're at. You can uh, pick and pick and choose however you need to, depending on what if you're running more bombers, more uh, more fighter planes, things like that. Again, if it's me, I'm keeping Brisk Eagle for my fighter, and I'm going to put El Cartero and Pixie, which are both bomber specific officers on the bomber. So hope this helped you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked this video, if you found it helpful, go ahead and like the button, or um, not the button, go ahead and like the video. 
uh, hit the subscribe button. It helps greatly. I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys have any questions like that, if you guys want to see anything specific tested in any, of, any future videos, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I love getting the feedback from you guys. I want to make sure we cover as much as we can for you guys both older and newer players, so we can help all of you guys out. So again, appreciate you guys watching, and I will catch you guys on the next one.